Hey guys, I am Daisho and I am here. Got some magic gameplay for you, but I'm not really going to be talking about this. Obviously, this isn't a live game play commentary. Just going to briefly introduce the gameplay. It is some cloudburst games. I think there are two. Maybe you'll see two. I don't even know how I'm going to do this. What I might do, so make sure you check the annotations. I'll probably like flash on screen right now, is give you the live commentary also because I did live commentate this gameplay. And I'll just put that in an unlisted video so you can go check that out too if you are interested in the live commentary. But anyway, this is my Q&A video, so I will now answer your questions. The Handsome Brit asked... I, oh, by the way, I might... If you uh, if your question didn't get answered in this video, it's because I am commentating this at like 5.30 and I uploaded this vid the video asking for questions at like 11 this morning. So that means I just didn't... You didn't post your question yet. And I'll probably do another question and answer video if I get another significant amount of questions. Otherwise, I'll just respond to those uh, by typing it out. So anyway, the Handsome Brit says, I was thinking of getting into RL Magic. What deck would you recommend for a newbie to real life magic? And I have a pretty good answer to that one. I think I'm not really like a magic expert, so I can't say, oh, this is the easiest, most fun deck to play. But what I would say is that you should go to a website like MTG Vault and try to build either just keep start looking at the decks that people have made, look at the high commented decks and stuff, and try to build your own deck. That's definitely what I recommend. Then you can go on websites like TCG Player or StarCityGames.com or whatever, and you can buy it, and then, then you'll have your own deck. It'll be more fun because you built it from the from scratch and it makes you feel more accomplished whenever you win with those as opposed to just like buying a pre-made deck or buying somebody else's deck so that's definitely my recommendation bush rookie 101 said what made you start your channel especially the magic part of it okay so it's two questions so the first one what made you start your channel i really liked watching channels and uh, magic video not magic videos call of duty videos and i felt like i could do the same thing and I decided that I was going to start my own channel. I wasn't very good at the game. My first ever gameplay was 24 and 11 team deathmatch, I think, on high rise. And it really wasn't such great gameplay. But basically, what I was thinking is all right, so there are these amazing players who do things, but sometimes we just can't understand why they do things. So I was going to try to give you uh, tips from somebody who's really bad at the game. And like, whenever I notice something, then I would just be able to give you that kind of tip. So that was that was where I started that and how did I start playing magic? So basically what happened is last year my friends brought uh, which is going to be the question to a lot of other answers I mean answer to a lot of other questions, but last year at the beginning of the year uh, and actually last semester the beginning of the semester So like uh, late January early February my friend brought in some magic cards And we started playing me and me and my buddies from the floor and a lot of us had never played before including me and he taught us how to play and then we basically just played a lot of magic we played like all semester whenever we had free time obviously and then when i got home all my friends who played magic were no were no longer there because i go to school in maryland and i live in new jersey so i wanted to still play magic so what i did is i just bought the game and then i decided obviously i mean it was pretty clear to me that once i bought the game that i was going to start posting magic videos and from there it just really took off the new game came out so i got a lot of views there and then wmg helped me out a lot so that's the reason why you guys are seeing my magic videos today uh, next question air max hack hey air max hater says what are you studying now or work or what are you doing except youtube smiley face so what am i studying now i am studying business at university of maryland i don't know what my major is yet but so far i'm studying business uh lucari01 said what type of deck would you like to see in future updates to mtg 2012 the I mean I'm I'm just gonna say the uh, <laughs> the decks that I have in real life, which are Devour and Landfall. I would like to see a Landfall deck. I, my Landfall deck is Red White Green, which is really and it's a really cool deck. I love that one. And Devour is a really fun mechanic, and I don't think that they'll bring they'll like bring it in any more than they have, which is just the Voracious Dragon. But that would be kind of cool to see um, their take on a Devour deck because my Devour deck is so much fun. But anyway, that's pretty much what I want to see. I could probably find a list of other kind of decks that I would want, but pretty much those are the two two main ones. Um, let's see, what else, what other questions do we have here? Busu Jimia. I don't really know how to pronounce your name. How long have you been playing Magic for? I answered that since early February, so about eight months, I guess. What is your name IRL and how old are you? My name is Andrew. I am 19 years old. And do you prefer gaming on the PS3, Xbox, or PC? I would probably say Xbox, 
mainly because it's easier. It's so easy to get into parties with your friends, so easy to invite them and stuff. Like, um, not only that, but I noticed that I had, there's so much, like, even in Magic, in Magic and Call of Duty both, the loading times are about half. Like, you look at loading screens for about half the time. So those are the, uh, the main reasons, I would say. Obi Kenobi says, what are your favorite one, two, and three mana cost cards to play in an opening? Doesn't matter what deck. I'm probably just going to have to go with my my beast deck. I don't really know what my th third one... Well, I can't really understand the question. One, two, three mana cost cards to play in an opening. But basically, my favorite start is turn one, play Llanowar Elves. Turn two, play Leatherback Bayloth. And I guess, I don't know, turn three, play Garruk. That is, that is pretty much pretty much as good as it gets for for my original beast deck that was fun um, Derek Taco says what's the hardest part you find in making videos the hardest part of making videos is just like I don't really know I guess I guess it, it's probably it, it depends on which videos I make like when I used to make those videos where I used a lot of theater mode definitely the hardest part was just sitting down like finding the time to sit down for an hour or two and just start editing and I mean, I didn't do so much editing that it was like 10 hours worth, but even two hours, you just never are like, hey, I want to go make, I want to go edit a video. That, I mean, I know some people find that really, really fun, but it's not something that I actually love. So, uh, I actually love. So, Lion Eating Man asks, what cards do you think are overpowered in this game? I think that Bribery and Sword of War and Peace are OP. That was part of the question. What cards do I think are overpowered in this game? Huh, that is a really tough question, and I'm probably going to answer it with saying that I don't think any cards are overpowered. Most decks have really, really powerful cards, like Vampires have Vampire Nocturnus. I mean, like, his that card is so good. Um, Vampire Nighthawk even, like, it's not going to win you a game, but it's so strong so early. Um, unquenchable, just, I mean, just like the Incinerates and the Kiln Fiends, that, that's what does the trick. So I think, like, all the, the major top-tier decks have, like, a bunch of really, really good cards, but I don't really think any of them are overpowered. Uh, I, I definitely understand why you could say that Sword of War and Peace or Bribery are overpowered, because basically once you play those guys, like, the game's over. Like, you could also say that Lorthos is overpowered, um, from AD, but, or Rite of Replication is overpowered, but I really don't think that there are any overpowered, uh, decks in this game. I I Penguin Z Z Z Z Z says, "Did you get Battlefield 3? No, I did not. W B Ram Ramses the third, or just three eyes? I don't really know." Says, "Do you like Xbox or PS3 better?" Um, as I said, Xbox. Tid Dompy asks, "How long have you been playing Magic IRL? Eight months. What's your favorite color in Magic? I don't really have a favorite color, but both of my decks that I bought are green red, so I don't know, green or red, and." What was the other one? If you could have three wishes, what would they be? No more wishing for more wishes. Uh, I don't... I mean, that's that's such a tough question. If I had thought about it in advance, then then maybe I could have an actually a decent answer to this. But just three wishes, I would probably wish for as much... I mean, like, $10 billion, like $100 billion, whatever. Just enough money that um, I could survive... Uh, comfortably for the rest of my life and be happy and not not really need to work actually I'm gonna revise that one I would probably wish for a profitable business that would be making me that kind of money I don't really care about being like because if I just if I just wish for ten billion dollars then what am I gonna do for the rest of my life I mean mad playing video games is fun but even now I have too much time on my hands to just play video games I have to hang out with friends and stuff so I would want to be the leader of like a profitable business that of, of something that I really enjoy because then I would be able to um, to like work with work with that my whole life and then I guess just have like healthy family and that, that would be wish number two and Number three, like, I mean, what kind of wishes are we going? Can I solve world problems with these wishes? Or is it just, like, something that I can I can do to myself? Like, I don't know. The third one would be pretty difficult. But I guess if I could have a third wish that um, would have nothing to do with the other two, then it would be to be inside an epic video game and like just be Sora from Kingdom Hearts or something like that some dude maybe not Sora because like all his family dies but um but 
I want to just be like a character in a video game and just spend all my time beating the shit out of people and stuff. That would be, I feel like that would be kind of fun. Hopefully that wasn't such a bad answer. Anyway, custom X Sapunja. Sorry if I pronounced your name wrong. Do you do these commentaries while your roommate is in? Does he ever walk in while you're commentating? Are you proud, ashamed of your magic slash YouTube slash fame slash awesomeness? Okay, so uh, I'll tackle these questions a little bit differently. So last year when I was doing commentaries, I really didn't like doing it when my roommate was in, and I would go as far as to, like, if my roommate walked in while I was commentating, I would pretty much just restart the commentary because I just felt really awkward and I couldn't talk. But, uh, like, over the months and over the years, I got so comfortable live commentating that I really don't care who's watching. In fact, one time, my, my roommate this year and his dad walked in while I was commentating a video, and I just kept going. Like, I didn't even know his dad. I, don't, I think that was the first time he's ever seen me and I, I was just commentating, so I really don't care. Um, he does walk in sometimes, it doesn't, it doesn't bother me at all. Um, in fact, sometimes there's like a bunch of my friends who are just watching, like I think the most I've had is like six people watching and two people playing magic, on, magic cards on the floor um, while, I was, while I was commentating, so that's pretty cool. And the next part, are you proud slash ashamed of your magic slash YouTube fame slash awesomeness? Um, I would definitely say proud. Um, I'm not really famous, per se, but I really am happy and proud of my uh, my magic skills and stuff. No, not my not my magic skills, but just the fact that I've actually accomplished something. Especially now that I'm getting I'm well, not really getting paid, but kind of getting paid. I'm really happy about that. And I mean, it it just feels like I accomplished something. Um, just because I get so many views per video, so I really want to thank you guys for that. Anyway, Javoyx says, "Where do babies come from? Eggs." Uh, Agar. Ag Agar Chitek says, do you have a favorite deck in MT in Magic 2012? Probably Cloudburst, I would say. What was your favorite deck in the first Magic game? Uh, probably the discard deck. I didn't play that game too much, but anyway, do you prefer playing Magic IRL or via Xbox? Probably in real life because I get to hang out with my friends and that's a huge part of the game. For me, at least, is not just the strategy, but also hanging out with friends and stuff like that. It's fun. What's your favorite type of video game? Probably first-person shooters and fighters. I can't really decide. I guess if I had to, like somebody had a gun to my head, I would say first-person shooters. Then uh, somebody somebody asked me to get Magic on the PC. I don't think I will. What's your favorite new card from Innistrad? Asks uh, Six Joe Six Pack. And I would have to say Snapcaster Mage because <laughs> it's a really expensive card, and I got it. Um, I just did one one uh, one pre-release, not pre-release one. It wasn't a pre-release. It was just a release date tournament, and that's what I, uh, that's what I, that's what I did. Anyway, ZK Fuzzy has a bunch of questions. What's your favorite color in Magic? Again, just green or red. I don't really care or no. How long have you been playing Magic? Eight months. Do you play EDH? No, I do not. What did you want to be when you growed up? What did I want to be when I was growing up? Probably a baseball player. It depends how how early. I guess like, I mean, I'm still growing up. I'm only 19. I'm, I haven't like. I'm not looking back on my life when I'm 80 years old and being like, what would I want to be if I was younger? Because I, st I mean, I still have my whole life ahead of me. Anyway, any brothers or sisters? Yeah, I have an older sister. Um, Scythus asks, what kind of music do you listen to? I never really got into music, and the music, the only mu music that I listen to is I, I listen to Pandora. So, um, and like my station is created based on an artist that I heard on a podcast. Um, I listen to the Scarborough Country podcast. Quick plug: they're so funny. They talk about sports and comedy. If you like sports, then you will absolutely love these guys. They're hilarious. So go check them out, and they play they play some music. So you can go check out them if you want to hear what kind of music Daisha listens to. And uh, next next question: Freeper for the win. Do you follow Magic tournaments? Not necessarily in person, but on YouTube. No, I do not. I haven't followed any. Uh, Tuna one six nine four question: What was the first expansion you ever bought? I think uh, I think it's M eleven because that was that, I think that's the one where Garou came in. I don't know. That's all I really know. I got that. I got him. American Dream one one two. Do you feel like you've gotten um, better at Magic since you started your YouTube beat channel? Um, and then thanks for the compliment. Also, I really appreciate that. But um, as I was saying. When did it, uh, do I think I've gotten better at Magic since I started my YouTube channel? I have gotten so much better at Magic. I, I like if I were to play myself now, or let's let's do it this way. Since 
just a 1v1 means nothing. But if you, if I played 100 games against a random amount of decks with the same deck that I was playing back then, me, me now and me back then, I would do immensely better. Let's see how we're doing on time. We got about, we got, we still got a few minutes left. I would do so much better right now and it would be pretty, pretty crazy. Um, and I think that's pretty much the last question. I mean, there's J.R. J. Rose Sokol asks, would you ever do an in real magic, uh, in real life magic video to help newbies get better? And then like he, uh, he expounds on what he's saying, but I don't really think that I would do that because I don't, I don't, I just don't think I'm that good at this game. I'm still developing and I'm just, I need to become a better magic player before I can say like, this is how you do a draft. This is how you do this. I've only, I've never even done a draft in my, in my, in my life yet. So there's like so many of you guys are more experienced than I am. And if I just try to give you, um, advice like that, then I'm just going to sound off, come off as sounding like an absolute idiot. And it's just, it's not going to be a good thing for me. It's not going to be a good thing for you. Nobody would enjoy it at all. Uh, just as I was commentating this, I got a couple of more messages, so hopefully that'll take us to the end of the time. Ryan X the dude, tell us what you think about WMG and their pants. WMG is the best YouTube channel on YouTube right now. They literally are the funniest guys. I watch every single one of their videos. I comment on all of them, and you guys are all legends for thumbing up my comments. You have no idea how proud that makes me um, when I see my when I see my comments as uh, the top comments on the videos, but they're so funny they really got me in they taught me so much about magic when i was first learning about magic i was like playing all my cards first main phase and stuff like i was really a noob i started watching their channel and they gave me so many tips and stuff they literally are the best and um i don't really know much about their pants but anyway and then four branches asks what are you studying college slash what major as i said earlier i am a business major and I am studying business, but I mean, I'm taking information systems, which is kind of like how you use data and stuff like that in a company. And it's kind of like a fun class and I'm definitely considering making that my major, but I'm not really sure exactly what I'm gonna do. I go to University of Maryland. So um, that's pretty much it for these questions. And this game is pretty much about to wrap up too. So I guess, I'm just gonna gonna commentate on it. If you haven't really been paying attention, this game was super epic. The dude had me at the ropes. He kept killing every single card that I played. He killed like all my flyers and stuff, and I was just sad, sad dice show. But then I got really lucky. I picked up that prophetic bolt, so that was nuts. That saved my life. And then he's at two. I draw a thunder strike, and then I can just play that on my dude for the win. So I, I think that was a really good Q and A video, and it was also a good. It was a it was a good couple of good gameplays. The first one I, I lost, which sucked, but. Anyway, that, that's pretty much all I have to say. If you want, you can go check out the live commentated version. I'll render that out and upload that as unlisted for you guys. But otherwise, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Have a nice day. Bye.